Hello Composers, Mike here, and in this video we are going to talk about Cadence in chord progressions. Now let's learn about Cadence in chord progressions. So what is Cadence? Well, basically it's like an ending, like coming back home again after a journey. But it doesn't have to be the ending of your complete song. A cadence is simply a resolution of a musical phrase or chord progression. This means going back to the root chord, which is the home of the scale you base your composition on. When you think about it, music is like a journey, an adventure, and like most stories, people feel good when they end well, and especially when they end in a way that truly feels like the story is completed. So a chord progression is like a journey to cadence. You can of course use the root chord or home chord several times during a chord progression, but it will always be that final root chord in the sequence that will feel the most satisfying to the listener. The feeling that the story your chord progression represents comes to a full closure. It's like ending a scene inside a movie in a way that feels natural to the audience. And remember, you can have several cadences during a music composition. In fact, every chord progression in your track should have its own cadence, at least as a general guideline. But I still recommend that you save that final and strongest cadence to the very end of your track. Now here is a bonus tip for you. The most powerful chord to use before the final root chord to end a chord progression and reach cadence is the dominant chord, which is the 5 chord or V chord as it is spelled in music theory. The reason for this is that the 5 chord has a very strong pull towards the 1 chord, which is the root chord. So whenever you want to create a cadence, whenever you want to add that sense of completion, I recommend using the 5 chord and then going directly to the root chord of your scale to resolve your chord progression. And if you want to make this cadence even stronger, let's say in the very end of your music composition, you can add a 7th on top of the 5 triad chord, which will make the tension and pull towards the root chord even stronger. In fact, the dominant 7 to the root triad is the ultimate cadence in music, in my opinion. Here is your action for this lesson. Play and practice chord progressions and focus especially on the feeling of cadence, the feeling of resolution, the ending of a story or scene. Add whatever chords you want, but end with the 5 chord going into the 1 chord, the root chord. This is the strongest, most powerful and most used chord change in music because it is so incredibly effective in creating that important sense of finality and resolution, which in music is called cadence. Good luck practicing creating good endings of your music stories and chord progressions. Now I want to invite you to join a community for composers, which is 100% free and includes great benefits. Do you want to level up as a composer? connect with industry professionals, get amazing opportunities, advance your music career, and get free products for composers worth hundreds of dollars. Then join right now using the link below.